right, so here he is representing New Zealand and, of course, Nigeria. Enter the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. We've certainly enjoyed our time getting to know this young man in our fighter meetings. He has a high fight IQ. He's a thinking man's fighter. And obviously, the physical skills jump off the film every time you watch. Yeah, he's got it all. I mean, the guy has it all. And as you watch him walk to the octagon, he has a confidence in the air about him that many don't possess. He has always known he would become a champion of the world. He proved that he can do it. Now it's time to show whether or not he can do it again. Sometimes getting back is harder than getting there the first time. Let's see what Israel Adesanya can do to try to become the middleweight champion. Again. And certainly the discipline, the motivation, all that stuff is still there. And there was a definite intensity to him here during fight week. We'll see if he can channel that into the desired result tonight. Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaev making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's going to be a UFC champion and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shimaev is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you laid eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling, he has great striking, he has great cardio. The guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds. But this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Hamzat Shumayev steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> The challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Hamzat Bosch Shibaya. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Right, right two of the biggest superstars in the sport ready to engage Israel Adesanya and Kamzat Chimaev. And even though Chimaev doesn't have a lot of miles in this middleweight division, he's your number one contender chasing UFC immortality here tonight. Chimaev is the number one contender because of his dominance. But Adesanya has seen this. He has seen the fast rising challenge. He has been in this moment in the fast rising guy. My question going into this one. How does Adesanya handle the wrestling of Hamzat Jemayev? He can do that. If Jemayev is forced to stand with him, Hamzat may be in for a long night. He passes the half. Shemayev's going for the sub here. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Big ground and pound. He a needs to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Takes his back. Yep, got to be very careful there. Under three minutes to go in round one. 
She might have getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, so he gets back to his... Oh, no disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yep. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Hamza Chimaya. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice job by the defensive player. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Timed it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you should get back to your feet right away right. because you can also sway the judges Stop. by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last blow. Right, she is not even setting up those shots. You gotta see those shots coming a mile away. You got to keep your distance. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. There. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys, but nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost Ready. submitted, one guy Ready. escaped. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of this martial arts. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Massive knee lands inside. Those knees. Oh, knee. Huge block there. Yeah. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Chimaev gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Good takedown defense by Israel. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. Well, he's doing it. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Chimaev. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Big double leg level team. 90 seconds to go. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's got to be careful here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Training huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. 
Oh, man. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Twenty seconds to go round two. Effective strike there by Hamza Chimai. Stuffs the takedown, no stop, problem. Stop, stop. Ten minutes in the books. All right, sit down, buddy. Take a deep breath, boy. All right, get into one. Drink. Slow that heart rate down. All right, here we go. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous fight? Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nice job by him there to move it to half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. He's got the strap. Oh! Oh, that was deep, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Israel Adesanya is in half court. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Oh, right into Mount. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Ninety seconds to go now, and he blocked the punch there. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Hamza Chimai. He just seems much more confident and comfortable on the feet. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Oh, he's throwing bombs every time they come into contact. He is throwing bombs. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Seconds winding down in round three. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. You ready? You ready? Go Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. There's that kick. Beautiful leg 
kick lands. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Nicely done. Now he's with his arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Get the ball here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Shimaev's right back to the full mount. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, he got out. He's working, but he's the shot. He's in the mouth. in the can, five to go. All right, great stuff, man. That was your round for sure. You completely dominated that round. I need more of the same. This is the last five minutes of the fight. Let's go. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon, both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth yeah. and final round. Well, we wondered earlier what oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, nice takedown defense. Straight right is there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at one minute, 10 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world.
Israel, the last time. 